nailed Dave with that response. I love it. He had no chance. That means I'll play guard, tackle, whatever. Second half highlights brought to you by Avera. Camp Miller got it started with what was a statement drive for NDSU coming out down 17-10 to start the third quarter. He gets in there to tie it at 17. But then Lipke and that offense moved right back down the field the next time they had it. He gets in for the first of his two rushing touchdowns on the day right there. And Bison had their first lead of the day or since the second quarter at 24-17. That defense got after Carson Camp and the Coyotes in the second half, limiting them to under 20 plays for the entire second half. Turnover's a big problem for USD on the day. And NDSU, that was when USD had a chance to go down, maybe make this a one-score game late. Instead, they cough up the football, and Lipke makes some pay with his second rushing touchdown of the day. He finishes, again, 20 carries, 146 yards, an average of 7.3 yards per carry, two touchdowns on the day for Hunter Lipke at the Bison. Start off Valley play for the 12th consecutive season with a win, 34-17 on the road here today against South Dakota. But look at the rushing yards. Last year, South Dakota lost the game in Fargo, 52-24. They gave up 303 yards rushing. Today, 356. Yeah, that's something they obviously are going to have to change if they want to compete with the Bison. You look there, third down efficiency, something that they thought they may have turned the corner on after the first two weeks. Today, one for 10, not very good. And then you'll see the bottom scroll right there, turnovers. When we looked at this at halftime, it was three to two in favor of the Bison having the, 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 the most turnovers. And then you see now it's four, three. So turnovers killed the Coyotes in that second half. Look